Assalamualaikum Good morning everyone uh, Okay So this is the course briefing For ECO 120 uh, If you have watched my Self-introduction video This is me again Madam Shul Okay uh, For ECO 120 uh, This subject was taken by Diploma of in Office of Management Technology BA118 HSU and uh, there are a few more programs yang are BA120 ok so the credit hour is 3 contact hour is 4 with that you learn this subject 4 hours per week ok this semester October 2022 until to February 2023 uh, this is the information about my phone number my room number and also my name and my email alright so this is synopsis of this course uh, deals with basic concept of microeconomics and its application in daily making this is a making of individual business firm and government so sometimes you might think economy as a uh, unrelevant subject but as you learn further uh, economy is very important for you to go uh, through your daily life with efficiency because this subject uh, caters about your daily life so orang yang tak belajar eco dia ada banyak benda dia tak faham so jangan kata you student office and management economy is not important for you you must learn economy to be a good economic man and everybody is an economic man so when you learn economy you learn uh, why the prices changes why the government takes some action so there is among the issue lah yang uh, boleh you faham afterwards after you learn economics okay uh, Kena dengar tak orang kata Harga setiasa naik Especially these days kan Kenapa cost of living in do good Is much more expensive compared to other place So this is a concept you learn in economics As time goes by You boleh reason Dengan apa sebab benda tu terjadi And you can explain to others also So Don't feel burden about this subject Even though you are an office management student Economy, whoever, whatever courses that you take is a must course for you to understand basic daily uh, life, how things occur in your daily life. Alright, so going straight to the course information, I'll give you the soft copy. Okay, uh, sorry I'm not feeling that well, so bertambah lah dengan suara saya. We have altogether 11 topic untuk ECO 120. So dalam your course outline, course info ni, kadang-kadang ada lecturer bagi course outline, kadang-kadang ada yang bagi course info. So sama je, kita perincikan every week uh, what, we will, what we will learn. Okay? So the first week, week one, in four hours, you're supposed to learn topic one. Okay, uh, you are part three student. You have got through ODL before, so we ha we still have the concept of best lecture, with that uh, specific amount of group kita combine together and give lecture uh, once only so uh, that's why untuk ODL dia sorry untuk best lecture dia still online because kalau dia combine too much group for example 5 groups per group 30 kan so kalau 5 group ada 150 student kita tak ada venue yang untuk cater student tersebut dalam satu masa untuk buat kelas face to face that's why 
dia untuk best lecture dia still kita online dan using teaching video ataupun google meet lah some lecturer prefer google meet for me I prefer teaching video sebab teaching video if for example you tak sempat you boleh pause you boleh review balik ok so saya tak pernah lah lagi dapat komen uh, this teaching video is not suitable for me because uh, it's hard for me to understand tak ada lagi lah sebab my better of teaching saya ajar satu persatu so kalau you rasa saya jadi susah nak difahami dengan lecturer lain yang strictly following university style will be much harder so uh, stop uh, having it Uh, early expectation try dulu ok you will be just fine ok so before we go with any topics for example I told you this week we will learn topic 1 kan uh, kalau you tengok my briefing about you future how to assess information in you future saya bagi tahu ada one folder related materials that I put all information about the particular topic so what should you do before you watch the teaching video you can download the material dulu then standby material tu depan laptop semasa atau PC semasa you tengah tonton teaching video tu so that sambil-sambil saya mengajar tu you boleh buat sekali macam dalam kelas lah ok aa uh, tengok dan juga cuba itu adalah method belajar yang paling uh, baguslah kalau you tengok sampai baring memang tak adalah input dia uh, to earn uh, the diploma you need to sacrifice lah kalau you belajar cara mudah at the end of the day you akan jadi susah because you need to put extra effort study last minute lah ok so be diligent in learning uh, settlekan dulu satu persatu chapter tu jangan kumpul banyak-banyak or else you will be in trouble lah ok so for topic 1 ni this is a very simple topic uh, it's about uh, introduction of economics So we will teach you what is economics. So uh, when you go through this chapter, you akan lebih faham lah uh, kenapa ekonomi wujud. Okay. So this particular chapter is very simple. That's why we don't need to allocate much time to teach you about this chapter. Only four hours, and it goes with week one. Okay, so altogether, uh, equal to all, oh, kita ada 11 chapter. So, banyak kan? Uh, throughout the semester, kita ada 14 minggu. So, satu chapter tu, ada yang kita kena ajar dalam 2 ke 3 weeks. So, we don't have time to waste. So, that's why in week 1 pun, kita dah mula uh, belajar. Bila you dah masuk semester, you don't expect ada delay because uh, we need to get this, the syllabus. Okay? Dia kata, maybe skema je, week satu pun dah nak mengajar. Tak. Because kalau tak, kita tak sempat. Okay? You need to follow the requirement of the course. And further, you bukan ambil ikut saja, you ada ambil ikut lain kan? So, to avoid you being frustrated kan so kita uh, cuba untuk sesuaikan waktu supaya you boleh masuk dengan kod lain juga alright so kalau you perasa kat sini kat sini column week in that pada minggu berapa dia akan diajar so saya tunjuk untuk topik 2 sorry topik 7 minggu kedua topik 10 minggu ke 2 dan 3 ok and here is SLT student learning time is that how bad how 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 
much hour you need to spend uh, towards this particular topic ok uh, untuk topik 1 12 hours patutnya masa yang diperlu, perlu diperuntukkan untuk belajar pasal topik 1 in order for you to understand fully about topic 1 ok tapi saya dah ajar dalam kelas 4 hours ok so this is with me bila that you learn from me but the whole student learning time is 12 hours so 12 tolak 4 jam yang saya ajar dalam kelas bila that dan face to face maksudnya you kena study sendiri 8 hour 12 tolak 4 8 jam lah so if you don't spend the, this 8 hour to study on your own on, on topic 1 you won't be able to understand fully topic 1 so ini adalah method secara systematic lah dia kira lah berapa jam you need to spend in order for you to understand a particular topic ok uh, the 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 larger the the numbers here be that the topic coverage is uh, more wider dan dia akan masuk exam lebih banyak contohnya yang ni Inflation and employment dia 18 uh, Saya akan ajar 4 jam je But you need to spend 18 to 4 14 hours to study on your own So study on your own ni Bukan bermaksud you tak boleh rujuk saya langsung That's why kita ada group whatsapp tu kan Please ask question di group whatsapp So that I can entertain you I can teach you there For your information I am available 24-7 on whatsapp Tapi as a courtesy you don't bother any lecturer after 10pm lah sebab itu adalah waktu berehat kan ada lecturer sampai pukul 8 sahaja so you need to respect their time lah so they have time with their family so KIV dulu soalan tu ataupun maybe you boleh tanya dulu and don't expect the lecturer to answer instantly tanya soalan pukul 11 malam dan expect the lecturer to answer within 5 minutes not every lecturer available during that time we have family so nanti bila you tahu lah you berkeluarga kan you tahu uh, time constraint tu macam mana so dia pula comment dalam sufu cakap lecturer susah dihubungi padahal you ask question outside the uh, office hour ok bukanlah bermaksud office hour to 5pm tak uh, for me I told you up until 10 so kalau saya ok lagi saya available saya akan reply or else tomorrow lah uh, ok so kalau tengok kat sini kita ada one topic yang uh, the number is higher 23 hours I will teach you for 6 hours dalam minggu ke 7 dan 8 ok so 23 by the 6 maybe that 17 hours you need to learn on your own so ada satu lagi market structure 32 hours ok I will teach you within uh, 3 weeks week 10, 11 oh 2 weeks kan kalau 2 weeks baru 8 eh maybe ada sedikit perubahan dekat sini it's ok don't worry about that uh, I will give you sufficient time to understand if you still don't understand just inform I will repeat the sub, uh, the particular topic so nampak tak 32 hours here untuk topik market structure ni is a long topic and the coverage for the exam is also very fast lah banyak so uh, kadang-kadang student kan bila nampak towards the end kan dia dah pendat dah padahal topik ni paling penting for the final so you focus on the first topic topic 1, 2, 3, 4 ni adalah for big term tau so bila big term, dia tak masuk dah kat final so itu adalah better yang salah untuk belajar ok, topik kemudian ni dia bu bukan bermaksud susah tau dia bermaksud coverage dia banyak dan bila kita ajar lama dalam kelas dia akan aa uh, bagi banyaklah soalan yang ditanya dalam final ok same goes with topic 8 national income 
Okay. Uh, and last topic is a very simple topic. That's why we teach you only two hours. So, ikut kan cukup lah fourteen hours, fourteen hours, not fourteen weeks to cover all the eleven chapter. Okay. Kenapa tak aja ikut susun that? For example, week one we start with topic one, right? All the started week two we start with topic seven. Kenapa tak start with topic two? Kenapa topic two start dekat week four and five? Okay, because the requirement of the course kita ada assignment. Okay, let's go with the assessment. So this is the assessment of the course. First of all, you have a uh, online test. Tak adalah online ni. Dah jadi big term test. Okay. Uh, the resource person for this particular topic, uh, this particular code, equal one to O, give a uh, discretion towards the campus whether we want to conduct an online big term test or a face-to-face -face test for me I prefer a face-to-face -face test because online test tak telus so uh, there are two lecturer teaching equal to O me and Madam Arita Madam Arita akan ajar kelas uh, TBA 118 3A, 3B, 3C, 3D ok, tiga kelas Madam Arita ajar eh sorry, empat kelas saya dua kelas 3E and 3F so you all adalah the lucky person lah ok so normally kita akan buat common midterm kita akan ada value uh, basically lewat petang ataupun malam lah sebab kalau kita buat pada waktu lain dia akan mengacau waktu kuliah lain ok normally petang ke habis macam tu tapi saya dah ada date yang saya propose tapi tak semestinya date tersebut kita akan discuss further Okay. A uh, bit test coverage dia chapter 1 until 4. So altogether saya kata kita ada 11 chapter, right? So a uh, bila dah cover untuk midterm untuk final assessment tak masuklah. Okay tapi good news dia lagi. A uh, untuk assignment awak written report chapter 7 9 dan 10. So that's why in the final Tak ada dah Tapi chapter sebenarnya Untuk written report Chapter 9 dan 10 But to For you to understand chapter 9 and 10 You must learn chapter 7 first uh, So that's why chapter 7 masuk lagi Dalam final Tak banyak pun Ada 5 chapter je to be covered for your final assessment Jangan berapa lah Walaupun 11 chapter Empat untuk midterm Dua untuk assignment Lima untuk Final assessment Easy je So don't uh, listen to your seniors Some seniors say uh, Susah Why? Because Dia yang tak belajar Bukan Tak semestinya Dia akan turun pada awak Susah ikut tu Ikut adalah subjek yang boleh score Kalau ada student kata I don't like Iku because of maths Iku adalah Kalau you belajar kat sekolah tu Matematik modern Bukan at maths So Iku is a simple maths So jangan letak mindset Iku is very hard Tak Iku is a subject you can score at A Dengan syarat you usaha lah Bukan usaha meniru Okay So Hopefully you understand that If you have any question You can ask in the group WhatsApp So your, for your presentation We need to do uh, to co uh, uh, The presentation covered Chapter 7, 9 and 10 That's why Kami adjust chapter ni dulu Sama je Madam Anita pun sama Supaya You can do your assignment Bukan tunggu last baru buat assignment Kalau nak tunggu kami ajar Ikut susunan 7, 9 dan 10 Lambat last kali Untuk 
uh, final assess uh, sorry continuous assessment you are the two types of assessment there we do presentation presentation about this written report then satu lagi adalah written report dia okay so that's why kita uh, uh, we will teach you first how to do the assignment untuk assignment saya akan ada specific video i will explain to you how to conduct the assignment Okay, untuk cost briefing ni I'm sorry to make a short video I I have a tendency to make a very long video To avoid you being frustrated I will try to make a short video for you Okay uh, Untuk dia punya coverage for final assessment Kita ada structure question and AC question So structure question ni uh, As time goes by I will uh, I will show you the sample of structure question and AC question I don't think you have problem with that and for midterm midterm kita punya soalan adalah multiple choice question dan juga structure question if I'm not mistaken at this way I can clarify balik don't worry ok we will discuss this further in our class alright so the important uh, date there uh, I drop down in the course information so the second week we will go with macroeconomic objective and then we will go with chapter 10 dulu and then we will go with chapter 9 ok this is a pol the policy to solve the problem so basically your assignment is about the issue of inflation and unemployment of a particular country I will assign you country and you will find information about inflation and unemployment of that particular country and you will re uh, wrote a written re uh, a report about uh, that country with your inflation and unemployment and then you will present about the things that you uh, right in the written report lah ok uh, so after I have done explaining about the assignment you will form group ok uh, a group of 4 to 5 person depending on the number uh, of people within the group uh, nanti saya akan clarify balik nanti ok and to avoid you make mistake on your assignment after uh, you have find the information you akan present progress for the assignment jangan rasa burden sebab this program present, progress presentation allow untuk bantu you sebenarnya if for example you took uh, information salah about the inflation and unemployment of that country markah akan hilang lah sebab untuk assessment markah dia adalah 20% tau banyak ni uh, ok so this progress presentation ada dua progress presentation 1 and progress presentation 2 for the assignment and we have mid semester break by the 18th of November ok uh, I bet you have seen this planner ok nanti saya akan masuk planner ni tapi alang-alang kita tengok terus lah this is our first week today today ke? today is 11 selasa this is our class today and uh, apa this planner comprises of 14 weeks 14 minggu satu semester ok cuba tengok kat sini M1 ni maksudnya minggu pertama M2 minggu kedua kelabu ni uh, cuba satu our weekend yang mana-mana kelabu ni yang grey area ni ini adalah break cuti umum gelap sikit ni cuti umum bila dah minggu ketiga you akan ada cuti public holiday for di Pawali 
sehari saja pada hari Isnin ada uh, tutorial kelas yang terlibat kan so kita akan adjust lah supaya selibus kedua-dua kelas akan tally so be it by lah kalau saya kata sorry we need to proceed kelas juga kita kena buat extra kelas sebab untuk iku waktu u ni ada 11 chapter kalau kita skip 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 we won't be able to finish on time ok so sabarlah kan tapi tak ada cuti pun tak ada cuti banyak it is that cuti umum lah minggu ke 14 biasa minggu ke 14 ni kita dah habis cover dah ni M14 saya akan bagi awak soft copy you boleh copy and paste banyak-banyak buat untuk subjek lain juga kalau tak ada lecture bagi letak tarikh-tarikh penting tampal kat dinding tu kat sini planner equal to O ok so saya dah letak dalam tu tarikh-tarikh penting minggu ke-8 we expect you to submit written report minggu ke-9 kita akan be, ada big term test ok subject to change I will they equal uh, sorry I will discuss first with Madam Adita seorang lagi lecturer yang mengajar tu so that kita boleh tally ke dua uh, ke enam enam kelas yang ambil equal to O ni and then uh, untuk video presentation saya sebenarnya prefer video presentation instead of face to face presentation sebab untuk video presentation you boleh uh, buat perfect nanti saya bagi contoh video-video saya lepas tu dia yang buat and untuk 20 bakar tu kalau video presentation you might get up until 18 tau 18, 19 as long as you follow the requirement tapi kalau live presentation jaranglah student dapat pakai tiki sebab banyak banyak factors yang mempengaruhi presentation tersebut ok uh, apa lagi Uh, here kita ada cuti pertengahan semester selepas minggu ke enam so bila cuti dia tak ada dia tak ada week kat situ dia letak minggu ke enam dia akan jadi big uh, minggu ke tujuh tak minggu ke tujuh akan selang lah cuti semester tu tidak dikira sebagai minggu kuliah ok minggu ke tujuh after semester break so orang jauh boleh beli tiket dah jangan balik tujuh belas eh uh, dia akan terkesan lah untuk kot-kot lain kan dia buat alasan tak ada tiket kita ada cuti yang panjang ni the whole week so 18 hari bulan lah bulan berapa ni tengok lah kat sini ni November so ini 18 November uh, boleh rancang lah nak beli tiket ke nak suruh parents jemput ke ok so uh, make sure balik balik sebelum 27 lah Jangan 27 tu tiba-tiba Kita -tiba, saya dekat rumah lagi Attendance satu Ketigalan satu Okay So bila you dah ketigalan ni You boleh ikut macam ni lah You tak boleh follow satu chapter You akan lost semua Sebab every chapter tu dia ada berkait So tolong Make sure You uh, Apa Tak Tak lost Okay kalau saya laju Hold Hentikan saya Ok uh, And then Kebaikan you ATM ni Banyak cuti tau After week 10 Kita ada satu lagi Satu minggu lagi Bit uh, semester break Eh sorry Cuti khas perayaan Bersahabat untuk Christmas lah Masa tu If I'm not mistaken Cuti sekolah juga Ok So Janganlah ambil waktu kuliah untuk cuti Jangan lacakkan, jangan awalkan Be more diligent You masuk universiti sebab you dah earn your diploma You want to secure your future So, kena sacrifice lah If you choose to bersedang-sedang, you akan bersusah-susah kemudian Okay So, jangan kata saya tak faham Itu adalah sacrifice that everybody need to do Alright So, minggu ke-14 ni basically kita akan uh, Go for revision and so on Okay So, I think that's it kot uh, If you can see here They also have the important date 
for you to fulfill you need to register the course kalau rasa clash ke apa ke tolong pilih kelas yang tak clash sebab minggu keempat adalah last day for you to do your validation uh, dia tak letak at, uh, at, at, of, uh, at, 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 at drop kan ah, dia dalam kena akademik sebenarnya jadi saya will share to you kalau your PA tak share lagi once you do the validation you cannot drop lah ok di google taraf biasanya kalau suri yang tak register ok uh, dapat tarikh-tarikh penting kan di Oktober habis Oktober 31 start November habis November 1 start December to how you see the planner ok don't forget you need to uh, fill the entrance survey ok untuk entrance survey saya pesan lagi sekali make sure you assume that you don't understand at all about the subject even you dah habis kat sekolah dulu ok assume zero knowledge and you are starting to learn a kid so jangan tiba-tiba untuk entrance buat lima empat dah faham sangat faham dah go with one either one or two dia letak tiga tiga ni orang yang atas pagar dia tak ada pendirian dia tak tahu dia tahu ataupun tak tahu so kalau tak tahu cakap tak tahu kalau tahu cakap tahu ok so for entrance survey I am expecting you to take either one or two sahaja even though you will uh, with basic and for exit survey later kat sini you take lah after you have learned everything you're supposed to take you understand lah uh, kalau you tak spend time to learn you won't be able to understand it's not our fault we have give you everything you have not spend time enough to understand and ask if you don't understand so for exit survey kita expect you to take either 4 or 5 ok don't go entrance lima tiba-tiba exit ini dua makin belajar makin tak pandai uh, so jangan main-main lah dengan entrance and exit survey Okay, and you also need to do so for be fair with evaluation as long as the lecturer teach you the subject if you don't like the lecturer they are not supposed to get a one from you lecturer yang dapat satu ni with that dia tak ajar langsung dia suruh you learn on your own but as long as the lecturer teach you they don't deserve a one don't do that towards any lecturer okay so I think that's it for the course info uh, then uh, import, uh, import information here berkena tarikh cuti juga semua tu saya pun dah masukkan in your course information here ok spend some time uh, look at the course information so that uh, you boleh faham ok and uh, this is the textbook that we'll be using for equal to O ok ada senior-senior dulu pakai textbook warna hijau ada warna orange ada for my class you don't need to bring the textbook textbook ni hanya requirement untuk you guna masa you study SLT tu yang uh, done face to face tu uh, ni yang done face to face tu your your own study time too because you need to refer further to the textbook if you cannot still understand from my teaching video and from my notes saya akan bagi saya akan bagi a slide the teaching video dan juga latihan saya bagi belaka you tak perlu uh, go towards EKPS uh, EKPS tu apa system uh, apa system pass question dekat library tu tak perlu sebab my question yang I use in class semua adalah soalan-soalan pasias bukan soalan sepak sendiri ok nanti saya akan explain further lah ok uh, ok while we are here sekejap saya nak tunjuk betul-betul soalan pasias uh, question ok untuk multiple choice question uh, saya dah cut dah bagi kod eh, dia ada, ada jawapan saya akan bagi yang tak ada jawapan lah Berikut chapter Chapter 1 topik 1 kan So ini semua pasir question Ok you tak perlu cari dan uh, Jawab lagi sebab Kalau you cari pasir question from EQPS tu 
Dia berakubi semua chapter Kalau you baru belajar chapter 1 You akan confused Sebab you tak tahu Ni soalan chapter 1 ke chapter 2 uh, Tapi kalau, kalau soalan saya ni I already compile According to the chapter Ada belakang dah Chapter 1 sampai lah 11 I will give you I stop go spy lah Bila saya ajar chapter 1 Saya akan bagi soalan chapter 1 uh, So print out dan cuba Okay So ini adalah soalan structure uh, Soalan structure ni soalan macam mana Dia ada So this is essay question Chapter 1 dia tak ada soalan uh, structure Ada juga kod Nanti saya akan clarify again uh, Masa saya ajar chapter 1 Untuk chapter 2 lah Kalau you dapat soalan structure Soalan structure ni dia ada main question And then dia ada uh, Apa? Sub question Anak-anak dia Dan so, jawapan dia Soalan-soalan uh, dia uh, Makan dia sikit-sikit Okay Jangan sabarkan Kod eco Dengan kod lain tau Ada kod OBM You jawab sepatah Terus dapat markah Kod eco Kalau AC You must Write in log AC Soalan structure ni You must write Precisely the The answer lah For example uh, Four units of pen Tapi kalau you jawab Four saja Salah lah Sebab Ada Two types of code Pen and apple For example So if you Jawab four saja Maybe you dapat separuh Ataupun ada certain lecturer yang Jadi lebih strict Yang akan bagi kosong terus uh, So Ini adalah contoh soalan structure lah Soalan AC macam tadi Soalan AC So kadang-kadang soalan AC ni Nampak kenapa banyak sangat soalan Question 2 banyak sangat soalan ni Dia bukan banyak soalan soalan Saya letak soalan yang Sama Style bawah satu soalan Bila that, this question, this question and this question The way the question were, were asked is different But the answer for that question is the same huh. Okay, so you boleh tengok terus Cara-cara uh, soalan yang membawa jawapan yang sama ditanya Okay, you can compare You don't need to answer all Because all of these questions are the same question Cuma the way the question were, were, were asked is different Okay Uh, ini soalan uh, ni soalan multiple choice soalan AC soalan structure I already showed you everything and I have the compilation of all question you don't need to worry okay uh, you don't need to go and find your own question if you need extra question just inform I will give you extra question for you to do a revision jarang lah student yang tanya extra question okay So that's it for our course briefing today. Hopefully you listen well until the end so that you tak tertinggal information. Okay, so uh, nanti saya akan bagi link untuk WhatsApp group. I'll see you when I see you. Have a great day everybody. Assalamualaikum.